Good afternoon, everybody. Uh, I'm a bit frustrated. I usually uh, am the eternal optimist everything, but after last night's voting extravaganza, I wondered what are we doing? We have a national defense authorization that will uh, set the priorities for our military and our foreign policy still sitting there on the shelf after it's passed out of committee months ago, and yet uh, Leader Schumer chooses not to go to that very important piece of legislation. We also have 12 appropriations bills that we uh, that are going to expire on December the 20th. One of which I have is I'm, la I'm labor, health, and education, sitting on the shelf after uh, our our leaders on the appropriations committee passed these bills out in July. We completed that exercise with the exception of one of the bills, and yet last night. We were sitting around voting time and time again for these liberal judges that Chuck Schumer wants to put in and ram through at the very last minute before the balance of power shifts. So I'll just give you an example. One of the nominees that we've, we're voting on today, or I think we just voted on, is uh, Mustafa, let's see, Mustafa Kasubi, Kasubai, who is a, a magistrate judge in Oregon, and his claim to fame is that before you come to his judge, before you come before him uh, as a judge, you have to uh, enumerate your pronouns. I mean, this is the kind of liberal thought and liberal justices and judges that uh, uh, Chuck Schumer and uh, the Biden administration want to push through at the very end. So I would implore our leadership to go to the important issues the American people are thinking about. That's completing our work at the end of the year and, and moving into next year. And my last um, comment would be, and I made the same comment last year, Thanksgiving is a particular favorite of mine. I was born on Thanksgiving. My parents were gonna call me thankful ever more. More was my last name. Um, but I think we, we do a lot of infighting. We all, you know, back and forth to one another. But I think at the bottom line, we have so much to be grateful uh, about and for, not just living in this great country, certainly for us serving, but our families and our loved ones. So I wish all of you a very, very happy Thanksgiving.